To perform a PVR and segmental exam, you want to use a Parks machine. This machine comes with two presets already, one for segmental pressures and one for PVRs. Um, you also want to use this little transducer right here. It can be anywhere from 4 to 8 megahertz. The 4 megahertz is typically used on patients that are obese or have major swelling or edema. Uh, the 8 is the more commonly used one, and it would be used on legs like these that are nice and skinny and unsymptomatic. Um, to get the segmental pressures recording, you have to connect these hoses that are attached to the machine to the little cuffs on each blue thing. And <laughs> these things are basically just red based off the color. So, as you can see, Red represents right, yellow represents left, and then each segment is color corded. So I would do, say if I wanted to do the left high thigh, I would take the yellow cord with the blue cap. So I would look for yellow, and then I would look for the blue, and I would attach the blue to the listing it said. So that would be the upper thigh. From here, to read the cuffs, um, you can do it two different ways. You can take the pressures through the three cuff method, which is on this leg here. You use a 17 centimeter cuff on the thigh and then two smaller cuffs on the lower leg. And these ones are typically 10 centimeters. Or you can do the four cuff method, which includes two thigh cuffs at 12 centimeters or and two 10 centimeter cuffs on the lower leg. Additionally to both of these, you can do toe and ankle cuffs as well but uh, those are optional, so I'm just not including them because that's not what my site does. Um, for interpretation, the four cuff method is better than the three cuff because it provides an additional region for the disease to be limited to. To perform the exam, you basically inflate the cuff until the Doppler can no longer hear the signal. At that point, you bleed off the cuff and wait until the blood flow returns. When the flow returns, you will hear it. It is important to freeze the exam and record that number. That number is the systolic pressure. If there is disease, these factors should be present. A higher arm pressure than leg pressures, because we'll take <laughs> Kendall here's <laughs> left and right arm brachial artery pressure. Um, and then a, 20, a greater than 20 millimeters of mercury pressure drop between the cuffs indicates disease. And then also indicating disease is a segmental pressure ratio less than one. Um, if there is a disease segment that identifies by any of this criteria, it means the occlusion or stenosis is proximal to the area that was inflated. For other important facts, the most accurate numbers come from when the cuffs are placed on nice and tight, where you can only fit about two fingers in between the cuff and the leg, and then the patient should hold as still as possible. Moving on, um, also performed with um, segmental, or not with segmentals, also performed with blood pressure cuffs is PVRs. Uh, PVR is the recording of a palpation of the pulse. This is interpreted differently than a segmental pressure. To interpret PVRs, we look at the waveforms and the, by the height and the shape. Uh, monophasic is typically no good. Um, and then triphasic is the best. Ultimately, both a segmental pressure and PVR can identify arterial disease, but a segmental pressure test is interpreted through the systolic pressure, where a PVR test is interpreted through the waveform. Thank you.